everyone's joining today I'm going to be talking about my five star predictions. So I did this kind of video um, twice on my channel, one in 2017 and one in 2018 and last year I did a react a reaction kind of video on which ones I have read and haven't read yet and I had a lot of fun with that but I thought I'd start um, updating my five star predictions list but the only two books that I have not read that are my five star predictions is um, the Crown's Game by Evelyn Sky and A Walk on Earth, A Stranger by Ray Carson, which I'm still going to be working on my five star predictions um, still. So I've created a new list of five star predictions. I try to narrow it down to 10, but I've ended up with 12 books that are on my five star prediction list. And there are a lot of them, and I'm just going to categorize them. Um, I don't know how, but um, let's get to the, uh, my five star predictions. So the first section. Um, section are, uh, for my five star prediction books is on um, the 2020 releases that I haven't read yet but I think will be five star reads for me. But well, the first one is The Upside of Falling by Alex Light which is about a girl who's told her friends that she has a boyfriend when she doesn't and then this popular guy in school asks to be her fake boyfriend with and the whole story goes from there and it sounds so cute and I just want been wanting to read this since I've I've heard about it and I've just wanted to read it and I'm hoping it'll be a five star read for me. And the next book that I think will be five star for me is The Shadow Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. If you guys don't know, Trisha Levenseller is the author of The Daughter of the Pirate King duology, which I love, and Warriors of the Wild, which is her standalone fantasy that came out in 2019 and um, I enjoyed that and I've read that this year. and. And what about the, and this book tells a story about a girl who wants to marry the um, the Shadow King but um, wants to murder him f and take over his throne but there's another person that's going after the king too so and the whole story goes from there and I just love her books so much and I'm hoping this would be a five star read for me because I love I enjoyed all of her books so far and I just think this will be another enjoyable read for me especially when she's becoming one of my favorite authors. And the next book that I think will be a five-star read for me is The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning, which is a Princess Bride retelling, which I'm really excited about. It's like a gender bend retelling of The Princess Bride instead of Wesley Saves Buttercup, what Buttercup Saves Wesley, which i really, really excited about. And I love her. I love um, her Sea Witch duology um, so far, and I haven't read her um, contemporary book, which is called Throw Like a Girl, I think. Yeah, and I... Really hope this will be um, a five star raid, and uh, and I just found out that there's a sequel of it coming out, out next year, and I'm like, I really want to read this as soon as possible because of the sequel, and I didn't know it was gonna be <laughs> there's gonna be a sequel, but yeah, I'm just really hoping this will be a five star read for me since I gave her previous books five stars. <laughs> and the next book that I'm hoping will be a five star for me is um, A Heart So Fierce and Broken by. Um, Bridger Cameron, which is the second book of A Curse So Dark and Lonely, um, and it's a Beauty and Beast retelling. Um, that's what the first book is about, and I'm just really excited to continue on with it, and I'm just really hoping that I really enjoy it as much as the first book, because I, even though it was like a slow read for me, but I still enjoy the book overall, and usually tall books do take me longer to read, but I'm really just excited to read this, and really predicting that it's going to be Five star read, especially when I enjoyed the first book so much. And another next book that I think I'll give five stars is Bones Cryer's Moon by um, Catherine Purdy, and this is a, um, a book that's based around mythology, where a girl has to kills the boy that she um, loves, and I just that's all I want to know about it because I like going to some books blind, and I this just sounds amazing to me, and I've heard nothing but good things on it on booktube and I'm just really would like to read this and hopefully give it five stars especially when I love books that are based around mythology. And the next few books are um, books that I like um, A Heart So um, Fierce and Broken. There's um, other sequels that I think will be five star for me and the next book that I think will be five uh, I'll give five stars is Blood and Honey by Shelby Maharan which is the second book of Serpent and Dove which I love very much and if you guys don't know Sir Brindov tells a story about um, a girl who is a witch but she's in a arranged marriage with a witch hunter and who's now aware that she's a witch and I just read the first book that this year and I love it so much and I'm hoping the sequel will be 
five stars even though it's like a bit of a chunker but I don't care I really would like to um, give this five stars and also the third book is coming out soon and I just want to try Rhea as soon as possible before um, Rhea and hopefully they'll end up being um, um, five stars. And the next book that I'm hoping to get five stars and I'm pretty sure it will be five stars for me is Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han which is the final book of the To All the Boys I Loved Before series and I'm sad that it's ending but if you don't know To All the Boys I Loved Before tells a story about a girl named Lara Jean who wrote letters to her questions just to get over her feelings and somehow the letters get sent to them and now the whole story goes from there and I'm just love the character so much and I'm just so sad that this story is going to be coming to the end and I'm pretty sure it's going to be like I said I'm pretty sure it's going to be five star for me because I love the first two books so much and I'm pretty sure I'll love this as much as the other two. And the last few books are just random books that I picked that I think will be five star for me but the next book that I'm get, hoping to get five stars is The Guinevere's Deception by Kirsten White which is a, a King Arthur retelling but about Guinevere obviously and that's all I want to know about it and since I got this from Alcrate back in December I'm just like I want to read this so much and I still haven't picked it up yet I'm just not sure if it's because I'm nervous about not enjoying it or I've heard mixed things about um, Kirsten White's books in general but I know there's another book of hers so I really want to read too but it's like I'm telling myself that it probably will be five stars for me because I like the King Arthur story and and two I just like retelling so I should probably enjoy this and I'm um, yeah I'm hoping that I would end up enjoying it especially when it's um, a retelling that I'm hoping that I love. <laughs> the next book that I'm hoping will be a five star read is Always Never Yours by Emily Wiberly and Austin Siege Mount Broca, which is um, a Romeo and Julia retelling in a contemporary setting, which I that's all I really want to know about. I've heard nothing but good things about their books. I know the, I think their second book came out last year, and the third book came out this year, and there's going to be another one coming out next year, and I'm just excited about it, especially when they're all based around Shakespeare, which I I love. You guys know I'm a big Shakespeare fan, and I want to read more of his plays um, throughout my life, and reread the ones that I love, and Especially with this being a Romeo and Juliet ret um, retelling in the contemporary setting, I'm just really excited about it and I'm thinking it'll be a five star for me, especially for me who likes Shakespeare. <laughs> the next book that I'm hoping will be um, five stars is Wonder Lost by Jen Malone, which is about a girl whose sister is um, a, a tour guide, but she something happened to her sister, so she ends up taking her place and then she falls for one of the tour guy guide groups grandson I think I that is if it, that's about right and oh the, co the tour company's owner's son and they somehow end up they pretty sure I'm pretty like knowing contemporary romance there's always a romance in here and I haven't read any books that are about traveling recently and I'm just hoping um another one um of these will give me will be five stars for me I've enjoyed some of them that deals with travel and I haven't read any this year and yeah and and I think they're in yeah, they're in Europe, and I'm just hoping to read more of them, especially when um, their tra characters are traveling in Europe. <laughs> and the next book that I think will be a five-star uh, read is Stay Sweet by um, Chiyo Han. Vivian, I'm sorry if I perjured the author's name, but all I know about this book is about a girl who works in an ice cream parlor, and then she becomes enemies with the ice cream parlor's um, son, and, and of course it's a summary read, and I definitely... Haven't heard about books that takes place in an ice cream parlor or a character working in an ice cream parlor, which sounds really awesome. And it, I think it'll be um, another five star read, especially when it's um, a really perfect read in the summer. Even though there's some contemporary books I don't read in the su summer, but yeah, I'm still hoping that I'll give it some um, five stars. And the last book that on my five star prediction list is Well Met by um, Jen DeLuca, which is um about characters in a renaissance fair and that's all I really want to know about and I've never been to a renaissance fair before and reading about it might make me want to go there more and I'm just really excited about pick this up and this is the funny thing this is the only adult book that is on my five star prediction list but I still think um I still I still want to read more um adult romances especially when I've heard nothing but good things about some of the ones that I've heard other people read and this is one of them and and this just sounds really cute and I just 
really want to read more adult romances other than Nicholas Sparks because that's the only ones that I've read and I want to read more in my life. So, hoping this will be a five-star read for me. So that is all for my five-star predictions. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below what books that you think will be a five-star read for you. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you know if I whenever I post a videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!